that was planned to be held in December 2020. That is why we have organized our orientation online. During our presentation, we may have technical problems. In advance, thank you for your understanding. I would like to now introduce you to the Dean of Engineering Faculty, Associate Professor Esther gemi who will be welcoming you on behalf of our Rector, Professor Dr. E. Kaisaliholo. Thank you, Esther Roger. Um, you are muted. If you could unmute, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Emma. Uh, first of all, you uh, all welcome to this uh, meeting. Uh, I am Associate Professor Esel Kemi Hunatlı. I am the Dean of Faculty of Engineering and also Head of the uh, Academic Affairs uh, Unit. Uh, all your uh, hard work has paid off and soon uh, you will be starting your studies at the uh, University of uh, Karina. So due to the uh, pandemic situation, uh, we are on lockdown at the moment. However, uh, education can't be stopped and uh, shouldn't be uh, stopped, whether uh, you are arriving to uh, our campuses or studying uh, remotely. So we have got everything you need to make sure uh, you have a, a fantastic, uh, fantastic time. We are not only uh, considering uh, our students' uh, academic improvement uh, and their success, uh, together with this, we also uh, aim to provide many opportunities for our uh, students' mental and social uh, developments. At the academic side, uh, we are very successful according to the uh, students' uh, evolution, even uh, the difficulties we face uh, during the online uh, classes. So the lecture evolution score was uh, 3.65 over uh, 4 in the previous uh, semester. So our aim, of course, to uh, four uh, over four. So this is possible if you always uh, give us feedback. Starting from uh, September, uh, we open academic petition office working under academic office uh, unit. Here, the students uh, can make uh, official academic uh, requests. So this office is open during the semester and now uh, we provide online meeting, uh, meeting sessions uh, on OZAM, which is distance learning uh, platform. Uh, all the courses will be carried out uh, on this platform. So please uh, let us know about uh, all the programs you may face uh, officially so uh, we can find a, a solution. Uh, beside this, you can also meet your uh, advisor, uh, advisors uh, regularly. Again, uh, you're welcome to our university. Thanks so much for listening to me. Hope to see you uh, on uh, campus soon. Thank you very much. Now, to start off, a few things about North Cyprus. Uh, the capital city is Nicosia, also known as Lefkosia. The currency is Turkish Lira and the official language is Turkish. However, you will find many people like myself that knows English and or other languages. About us, University of Kyrenia. University of Kyrenia was founded with the mission of training critical and innovative research focused scholars who will create knowledge and value in an international educational an appreciation of ethical no. and moral values with a sense of social responsibility. Can I please remind everyone to have your microphones muted till the end? Thank you very much. We can. Our founding rector is Associate Professor Gemre Günsel Haskasa, and our rector is Professor Dr. Ikai Salholo. Now, what you'll need to do first. Upon arrival to the University of Kyrenia, the first thing you will need to do is complete your registration. Firstly, you will visit the International Student Office on campus where you will present your original documents, present your passport for photocopying, along with your letter of acceptance and complete the registration form. Once that is done, the International Student Office representative that has attended to you 
will then give your documents to Student Affairs Office in which you will go and have your registration completed. When your registration is completed, you will receive a student number, university domain email via email, and instructions on how to access your portal on the online system, Genius, and how to complete your additional payments that is mentioned on your letter of acceptance, as well as what needs to be done for completing your resident permit, which is very important. So what's next? Enrolling to your courses. University of Kyrenia will be offering an alternating hybrid educational model for this academic year until further notice. Where face-to-face -face education will be supported by digitally enhanced education. Therefore, in order to enroll to your courses in your department, you will need to do the following steps. If we could go back one slide, please. One, attending the English proficiency exam. Uh, please contact the English Preparatory School by foundation.english at kyrenia.edu.tr and arrange the date and time for your language proficiency exam. Step two, after re receiving the results for the proficiency exam, please visit the website and log in to uzem.kyrenia.edu.tr. Both the username and the password is your student number. Step three, for information regarding the courses, kindly contact your department advisor. You would have received their contact information when first registering. However, if you have not, please contact the Student Affairs Office or the International Student Office for assistance. Note, if your advisor believes your portal is not active or they cannot see your name, please send an email to studentaffairs at kyrenia.edu.tr and request for portal activation. Now, some of the services available at the Student Affairs Office include admission procedure, student documents such as your student letter certificate, transcript, etc., student online system procedures, uh, Genius, register.kyrenia.edu.tr is the URL for the system, preparation of ID cards, immigration procedures, tuition fees and payment procedures, and invoices. The contact details are stated on the screen. Some services that are available from the International Student Office is direct our international students to follow up on their registration in the Student Affairs Office, help students with their accommodation at the dormitories, assist our students to other uh, campus facilities and provide endless support to our international students. If anything is needed, please send your name, phone number, address and student number to isen.interoffice at kyrenia.edu.tr. Again, the contact details are stated on the screen. We have buses throughout the day that go to and from our sister university campus, Near East University, which is located in Lefkosha and another route around the city of Kyrenia. For more information on timetables and bus stops, please visit our website, kyrenia.edu.tr. University of Kyrenia students can benefit from the university's dormitories, Park Palace Residence and the Near East University dormitories, which is located on their campus. The University of Kyrenia Park Palace Residence, located in Karakum, Kyrenia, is within a walking distance from our campus and offers our students the opportunity to choose the accommodation which suits them best. For more information, please visit our website, adai.kyrenia.edu.tr or contact the International Student Office. The students of University of Kyrenia have access to these facilities listed, as well as shared facilities with Near East University. The working hours of the Grand Library are currently 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. due to the restrictions. However, once we are back to normal, the Grand Library will be available 24-7. The hospital and dental hospital is also available to our students. Please visit them or contact them at plus 90-392-449939 for more information. You may also contact the International Student Office for assistance. We also have three cafes on campus, Cafe Port, Library Cafe and Cafe Pizza Pizza. 
where we will be employing part-time workers and students can apply. Now over to Assistant Professor Dr. Sekhan, who will be discussing the activities from the Office of Health, Cultural and Sports that are available at the University of Kyrenia. Thank you, Pembe. Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Okay, so uh, um, Assistant Professor Serkan Sanjak, I'm also the head of the Office of Health, Culture and Sports, and I would like to talk to you about our services provided to you. So first of all, I'd like to welcome you all to our university and I want you to be aware of that now you're a university student and being a university student is putting you in a situation that you're now a candidate to be an intellectual citizen in the future. So in order to be an intellectual person in the future, not only about your expert area, the department you'll be teaching in, you have to socialize your uh, activities and have a rich social life. So mainly our office is providing you these opportunities to make you more social and gather with other students. Next slide please. So the services that we are providing are to organize and coordinate cultural and artistic events, sport events, and to provide service and solution to the students about health, culture, and sports, and to manage and coordinate University of Kyrenia sports teams and student clubs. And also we provide counseling and support services to the students about their questions and problems about the university or about their social lives. We do this via the Psychological and Counseling Center. Next slide, please. So the teams we have at the moment in our university are football team, salon football, basketball, street ball, swimming team, chess, and table tennis. And we also would like to offer you the opportunities to open new fields according to your demands. At the moment, we have 20 active student clubs and five of them are departmental clubs, and those are architecture, architecture club, aviation club, marine club, medicine club, and psychology and psychological counseling and guidance club. Apart from those, we have African society, chess, dance, environmental and social responsibility, literature, media and photography, music, outdoor sports, sail, search and rescue team, theater, water sports, yoga, and some football teams, fun clubs. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Next slide. So we are aware that we're having an unusual situation due to the pandemic. So we don't know how long will it last and at the moment we're also lecturing online throughout the UZEM. So our PD RAM, which is a psychological and counseling research center, should be offering you face-to-face -face service but at the moment we can't do that due to the pandemic and we'll just move it to them and make it online. Five days a week from Monday to Friday, every day from 12 to 2 p.m. we'll be offering you this service and every day the person that will be in charge will be online waiting for your problems and questions. Those problems can be about the university, about the system, or can be any problem that you're facing in your personal life, and especially this unusual situation due to the COVID
COVID-19 can arise some unexpected problems in your day, everyday life. So you can consult us about those problems and we will offer you a solution or show you how to solve that problem. For further information about PDRAM, our teams, our social clubs, student clubs, and any other services that we are providing, you can directly contact me from serkan.sanjak at kyrenia.edu.tr. Next slide. Next one. And I would like to remind you to please follow us from our social media accounts and also do not forget to check our web page for daily news and announcements.